What is up guys, Tim from Tim the Drew Films here, back with another Blender Game Engine tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to be responding to a comment which basically asked me, Tim, how can I use a control key and double tap that to sprint instead of using a W and a shift key or two keys in, uh, to sprint? And I'm just going to be responding to that and showing you exactly how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a plane, so shift A, mesh, and plane, and I'm going to scale that up a bit, this is just going to act as our floor. Then I'm going to select my cube, press G, Z, and 1, just to bring it to the surface. Another thing you want to do is go up here to Blender Render and switch it to Blender Game. And I'm going to drag this out a little bit, go over to the Physics tab, and switch it from Static to Dynamic, like that. Okay, so now we have our character set up, and we can get into the Logic. So we're going to drag this up and switch it to Logic Editor. And basically what this sprint system is going to make use of is different states. So we're going to have a still state, a walking state, and a sprinting state, and we're just going to use the keyboard to switch between those. Okay, so with your first state selected, by the way, you get into the states uh, panel by going to your controllers, and there's a little plus button here, just click on that. And then select your first state, should be already selected, uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to add a sensor, keyboard. And this keyboard sensor is basically going to be whatever button you want to double tap to sprint, and in this case it's going to be a W key. So I'm going to click on that and press W, and I'll make this uh, forward. Now what we're going to do is add an actuator, but instead of adding a motion actuator to walk, we're going to add a state actuator. And we can just connect these like this. And we want to transition over to what is going to be our walking state, which is the second state. So we're going to switch over to the second state. And basically what a state is, is in every state you can have a different set of logic bricks that this can follow. So now we're going to switch over to the second state. And what we're going to do in this, this is our walking state, so we're going to add an always sensor and a motion actuator. This is where we're actually going to be walking. And this motion actuator is going to define how fast we walk. So I'll use the y-axis. So on the y-axis, click on it and press point 0.1. Uh, and then I'm going to make this walk and close that. And then we're going to connect these two like this and we can minimize this. Uh, and that means that when we switch over to the second state, we're going to be walking. Now we need a way to uh, detect if we're not pressing the forward key anymore. And that's easy. We just get keyboard. And we're going to select W again, and I'll name this stop. And the way we uh, check if we're not pressing it is we just click on this invert over here, right here. Just click on invert, and then we want to select a state actuator. And if we're not pressing the W key, we want to switch back to the still state, so the first state. So select the first state over here, and then connect these two like this. But now we have a problem, and that problem is that it's immediately once we lift our finger, it's going to switch back to the first state. And that kind of defeats the point of a double tap, because to double tap, you have to lift your finger to tap down again. And so we can fix this by adding a delay sensor and connecting it there. And we can set the delay to about 15 ticks. And basically what this delay sensor is going to do is it's going to create a small time period where we can lift our finger up and this won't activate uh, until this delay is over. So that gives us time to lift our finger and press down again or double tap. So now we can close that down. And now we need to create the sprinting state, but we need to switch over to it. So we're going to add another keyboard sensor. This one's just going to be a W, or a, a sprinting thing, you know, whatever button you use. And you can close that down. And we want to, when we press the W in this state, we want to switch over to the third state, which is the sprinting state. So add a state actuator, another one, and select the third state over here. Then we can connect these two like this. And now we want to switch over to the third state. So I click on that. And what we're going to do in the third state, this is basically our sprinting state. So we're going to add a, uh, an always sensor and a motion sensor, uh, motion actuator, my, my, my bad. And we're going to, since we're using the y-axis, um, this is going to be the speed that we sprint at. And in my case, it's going to be 0.3. And that'll be our sprinting speed. So I'm just going to rename this to sprint. Close that. And we can connect these two right here. Like that. So now it's always going to sprint, but now we have another problem is that we can't sprint, we, we're not switching back yet, so we're going to add a keyboard sensor. And this time we don't need a delay, but we just need the W, and this will be stop sprint. And we can click on invert over here, so that as soon as we stop pressing W while we're sprinting, we immediately switch back to the first state like that. We can connect these two like this. And then another thing you want to do, just before we run this, we need to go up to this panel over here and select the initial state, which is the first state. And basically that means if I'm on any state or I'm editing any state, it's always going to start on the first state when I play. 
So if this is not selected and I was and I had the third state selected, it would start sprinting immediately when I hit play. So now we can see that if we press play or P and we hit W, it walks forward. And you can see it's a pretty slow speed. But now if we hit play and we walk forward, now we double tap, you can see it goes much faster. Uh, so that is how to double tap to sprint, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next tutorial.